huge number with this nation's history here in the U.S. where the nation's birthday is the fourth day of the seventh month. But notice, I'm going to write out my name, Zachary, in the base ciphers. None of these things equal 47. I'm going to write out my middle name, Keith. None of these things equal 47. Again, Hubbard, that's my last name. None of these things equal 47. You know, my mom's name, Donna, not 47. My sister's name, Jennifer, not 47. Her nickname, Jen, not 47. My dad's nickname, Tim, not 47. His full name, Timothy, not 47. None of us have a 47, right? But again, I write out government, it equals 47. I write out authority, it equals 47. I write out Republican, it equals 47. I write out Democrat, it's 47. I write out D.C., it's 47. Again, President, 47. White House, 47. Trump with his many 47 rituals. I've done more in 47 months than Biden's done in 47 years. His, his Trump on the camp, his quote on the campaign trail, you know, about four years after this license plate's been in my background, if you can make it out out there. I've had that license plate back there for a long time. I've had it since I lived at my last house, and I didn't even put it up in the background at my last house because the setup behind me was different. But that license plate back there, what is 47? Again, learn to just look for the 47. You don't need to teach people to just be like, look, there's the 47 again. I was just watching the movie Deliverance the other night, and I couldn't believe my eyes. There it was, the number 47 again on the back of Ned Beatty's sweatshirt. And then the next scene, I, I'm, I'm watching a movie scene like I've never seen before in my life. Ned Beatty getting raped in the woods by another man, screaming like a pig. But anyway, 47. And don't forget what they did on the 4th of July the other year with the 47 G-O-Y ritual. But anyway, notice also in this cipher, homosexual is 47. And you see how it's also 43 and 133. Look what happens when I write out Colorado. And the reason I'm writing that out is because the first ever publicly homosexual governor in history was in Colorado, who's the current governor. And again, Gematria. It's just based on the alphabetic order forwards and backwards. And you do have to spell correctly or it definitely doesn't work. But again, these are the values of government with the alphabetic order 133, with the alphabetic order in numerology 52, with the reverse alphabetic order 137, with the reverse alphabetic order in numerology 47. In 2015, because of understanding what 133 meant to these people, when Trump first took the stage at his Fox News debate, I said, are we looking at the next president? Because they reported on the screen that he was the 133rd richest man in the world. And we know that's the government White House. You see how White House is very similar? 133, 52, 137, 47. In fact, is, is it, it, it is the exact same in all four ciphers. Government and White House are the exact same in all four. And, But again, they said Trump was the 133rd richest man. And the one thing I didn't know yet in 2015 was back then I didn't know that president equaled 133 because I wasn't running the alphabetic order in reverse yet. But when I started running it in reverse, I knew right away it was the other half of the code. And they were putting up on the screen that Trump was the next rigged president. So anyhow, Gematria, alphabetic order, forwards, backwards, forwards and backwards of numerology. You can't just get whatever you want. You know, the odds that DC, the two letters equal 47, what are the odds of that fitting in with everything else? Especially when you realize the cornerstone for DC was laid on a 47-date numerology by a Mason who has the 47th problem of Euclid for about how to establish foundation for a structure. And the word foundation itself is 47. So... You know, it has to do with authority. For the record, the word Christian is 47. You know, politicians in this nation, mostly Christian, putting their hand on the Bible, being sworn in. And, uh, you know, it's all part of the authority system. This whole thing's like, again, it's Kabbalah, it's magic, it's spell casting. It's putting out the same numbers and divisive propaganda each day where people in the nation know they're being divided and they know politicians are mostly crooks and sellouts, but then somehow even knowing that, they still put all their faith in them and treat them like they're the only credible people in the world because they're on the TV screen, which I think is the biggest magic trick of all time. But anyway, I'm always teaching about 47 there's examples day after day. On the 4th of July this year, you had the shooter with the 47 tattooed on his face, driving around in a car with a big 47 on the side of it. And remember, it all goes back to Hebrew and, and their gematria code, the four-letter name of God, the tetragrammaton, has that association with 47. These people play God by this code over and over. And all this stuff, it's biblical. It's meant to divide us. It's meant to mock us. And it's the same game day after day. All right, so Ivana Trump gets buried on the 201st day of the year. Now, we just covered when the day she died. 
how Trump and her were married in a big 201 ritual. The, the building they were married in equals 201. And the man who led the ceremonies, his name equaled 201. And then Donald John Trump Jr. was born the year of their marriage on the last day of the year, December 31st, New Year's Eve, from Trump's birthday, June 14th. To December 31st was his 201st day of his age, meaning he's born on the day when through the end of the year is 201 days. If you're new here, 201 is the number to know after 47, really. There's a lot of numbers to know because the numbers are a language, but these numbers are so crucial and they point back to the same place. Again, in Hebrew gematria, the word light is 201. And the founder of the Illuminati, Adam Weishaupt, he named the order. Adam Weishaupt was born Jewish, raised Catholic, became a Jesuit, founded the Illuminati, the enlightened ones, in the light. And he named it Order of Illuminati. We're just using the alphabetic order, the most simple cipher, Order of Illuminati is 201. Just like the Jesuit order is 201 in reverse, and he was a Jesuit. And again, we're in the time of the first Jesuit pope, Pope Francis, the first to live in suite 201 at the Vatican. His birth name, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, 201, like Ignatius Loyola, 201. Trump, Jesuit educated. Biden, from the Jesuit town of Scranton, where the hit show The Office ran 201 episodes. But anyhow, remember, Biden sacrificed his wife and daughter in 72 on Limestone Road. Limestone Road equals 201. The pyramids are made out of limestone. Great Pyramid at Giza equals 201 in Gematria. Plus, there's 201 layers of stone on the pyramid. And then Biden's son dies at 46 years before he becomes number 46, 201 days before the Pope's birthday. So now you see how Trump, who's also in the Jesuit networks, doing similar things. His brother Robert died two years ago, August 15th, 2020, the Jesuit order's birthday. Now Ivana, his ex, who again was married in a 201 ritual, who he has his first child with, Donald Jr., clearly in a 201 ritual. And for people who are new here, we've been showing this about a lot of celebrities, the ritual marriages, the ritual birthing, the same number patterns. That this is like if you're in the network, you know, that George Carlin joke, there's a club and you're not in it. Trump's in the club. You know, most of his supporters at his rallies, you know, buying up all the merchandise and investing in, in, in these stage actors, you know, they're not in the club. They're, they're getting taken by the show. They're getting taken by the political theater. But understanding what we're talking about shows the way we're being controlled, purposely divided, and who's doing it and for what purpose for their benefit, for their power, for their control, while we fight with each other, get ruled over by tyrants. But anyway, bo buried on the 201st day of the year. And you see how they have to post at 1.46 p.m.? Just little things like that. Again, it's like Trump's birthday, 14 slash 6. And for people who think that stuff's little, well, because we understood that, like we do season after season, we put a lot of money in a lot of people's pockets. Because when Trump took on the NFL over the flag protest, which was before week three was played, we said, there's your Super Bowl. Philadelphia, where the flag's from, versus the Patriots with the flag on the helmet, because Trump did it on 23 slash 9. Flag was sewn at 239 Art Street in Philly. 239 is the 52nd prime. That was the year of Super Bowl 52. Zach Ertz, number 86, scored the winning touchdown 86 days after his birthday. The national anthem was adopted 86 years before that season. I anyway, all this stuff, it's all ritual. It's scripted. It's rehearsed. And, and, and just like people are in the stadium waiting for the outcome of the game, the political diehards are waiting for the outcome of the election, they're all getting played. And it's like they like getting played. It's like it's fun to them. It's like, it's like what Adam said the other night. You know, Adam said at the end of the day, all this is really interesting to him, but he still likes being on Team Trump. It's like a sports team. It gives him happiness. And I mean, everyone is living for happiness, but I think for all the people who are like Adam, we need them to realize that this happiness that we're getting out of this right now, it's coming with consequences because it's all part of an agenda that's making uh, <laughs> life a lot less happy overall, you know, to make a long story short. And um, I, I need to speed it up here because I actually got to pick up Sweet Lady. J just as a, an FYI, th we're not going to do our regular TFR tonight, but I am going to come back and, and get Rambo on and, and do a, a later edition of TFR as long as that works with Rambo's schedule. If not, I'll take your calls and we'll make up for not being able to do the show. Um, Sweet Lady has a big exam today, and she wanted me to drive her there because she's so anxious and then pick her up, and it conflicts with the time of the show. It sucks because it's like this is a this is an important day to do a show, but we'll do.